Hello guys, Tav HD here and welcome back to another video and today we are yet again looking at the £10 PowerBook G4 15 inch which I bought I think back last August for only £10. Since then we discovered that it didn't work, I didn't think it worked anyway, it was untested and I thought it would be a good risk just for £10 to see if it would work. Turned out the drive was dead in it so I replaced the drive. It booted up and then after that it stopped booting again. It almost seemed like it had killed that second drive. And that second drive did have a fresh leopard insole on it and it was working just fine before I put it into here. So I don't really know what was going on. And I also think if I remember correctly, there was some graphical artifacting going on on this side of the screen. But then after a while that stopped, so I kind of forgot about it. But this thing still will not boot, so today I thought we would try and get it booting yet again, whether it will or not, I don't know. But I don't want to risk another hard drive, so I'm not going to take this apart and put another drive in it. What I am going to do, however, is get out a, another power book. This is my 1.67 gigahertz 17 inch power book G4. This is running the latest version of Tiger. And today we're going to try and use target disk mode to see if we can boot the £10 power book off this power book's internal drive. Theoretically that should work, but if this is acting up and being silly, it might not. I guess we will just have to see. So I've gone out and I've bought myself a rather nice Firewire 800 cable. So I think all we need to do is connect all this up, boot the 17 inch into target disk mode, boot this one up, try and boot it to the internal drive of the 17 inch and hopefully that will work. And if that does work, it'll prove that this machine does actually work. It won't explain why it won't boot off the internal drive, but that's something we can investigate once we know that it does actually boot. So this is going to be the first time I've tried this. It might work or it might not. But yet again, this thing was only £10. So either way, it doesn't really matter. The amount of videos I've made about this has made up for that amount of money anyway. So it doesn't really matter. This is just a bit of fun. I'm kind of curious to see if this thing will work. So let's hook all this up and hopefully something good will happen. All right, so here's the setup. There's the 17 inch and there is the 15 inch. I'm going to boot up the 17 inch, put it in target disk mode, start this one, go into the boot menu and hopefully if everything's working, the internal drive of the 17 inch should show up as a bootable drive on the 15. So let's now give that a go. All right, so this is the 17 inch. You can tell because it's got a glossy display. It shouldn't have, but it does. So we're going to go down to startup disk and then click on target disk mode. Restart that and hopefully it should come up with a Firewire logo just floating across the screen. Once that comes up, we can boot up the other Mac. All right, there we are. There is the Firewire symbol going across. This machine makes a horrible high pitched squeaky noise. It never used to. So I don't know what's up with that. So apologies if you can hear that, but let's now go over to the 15 inch. I'll press the power button, hold down option, and hopefully we will get the boot menu. Okay, boot menu is coming up and there we go. There are two drives showing up, OS Leopard and Macintosh HD. I'm guessing OS Leopard is the drive I put in this machine because that was running Leopard. And Macintosh HD, I know, is the name of the drive in the 17 inch. So it looks like it's showing up. So once it stopped doing its loading, let's click that. Hopefully we'll get it to boot. All right, it has stopped loading. So let's click Macintosh HD. And this should theoretically boot up into the internal drive from the 17 inch. <laughs> All right, so I've got it to boot, but as you can see, something isn't quite right. It looks like we're getting some graphical problems, but let's just ignore that for a second and get into this. So it's now loading up. I can see graphical things going across. That's not good, but it looks like the computer is actually working. Let's check. Yep, 1.33 gigahertz G4, one gig of RAM and it is booting off Macintosh HD, which is the 17 inch drive. There is 
graphical things going on still, but it looks like the machine is actually functioning, which I suppose is a good sign, but also this graphical stuff kind of isn't a good sign. I don't know if that is just the display or whether it's a graphical thing going on inside the machine, but it looks to be functioning as I would expect it to if we just ignore the fact that the screen is doing what it's doing. So is this working? I think I might say this is working. I think mm, there might be another revisit on this computer at some point, but I've got, I've got it booting and that's what I really wanted to do. Let's just try opening things just to make sure it doesn't explode or anything like that. And I've got no experience with this computer, so let's just go through this to get into iTunes. Oh, though, <laughs> that doesn't look very good. I don't even know if you'll be able to tell, but this isn't very good. I'm going to try playing something. It seems to be functioning as I would expect a normal one to, but I, d I don't know if this is just the screen or the graphics. I think that's something I'll have to do some research on, but I'm actually very impressed that it's doing anything. As I've already said, I got it not knowing if it would do anything, and now it is doing something. And considering this is all running over a Firewire cable, I think that is pretty impressive, especially considering how old this technology is. I think both of these machines are from 2004 and 5, so that is pretty cool. But I think I'm going to turn this thing off now. I've seen all I need to see. The machine isn't particularly getting too hot, neither is the other one, so I think it's probably just a display problem. Maybe the cable's a bit pinched inside or something. I think it's something that we will look at another time, but I think for now that will be it for this video. Does it work? Yeah, it kind of does. I thought it would, but it's nice to know that it does, so I think that will now be it. Thank you for watching this video. Now I know that I can do something with this. There will be another follow-up at some point when that will be. I don't know, but thank you again for watching. I've now turned both of them off. This can now go back and rest. It's had quite a tiring day. Considering it doesn't really do anything ever. This has been quite a lot for it. Hopefully it hasn't now killed this one like it's killed the other drives. I should probably check that at some point, but I'm sure it will be fine. So thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.